Good afternoon. I hope everyone's had a great weekend. Uh, no, I've read in Brisbane's had, had a little bit of a cold snap. Uh, that happens in Brisbane. We get a little bit of a cold snap going on. You might hear my beautiful little son in the background. Uh, speaking of that, a uh, very happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Hope everyone, uh, all the mothers had a great day. It's a very special day in our household. Uh, Sam, my beautiful wife, um, it was her first Mother's Day. So it was a really uh, great day. We had uh, you know, a few family around, uh, it was really good. So the grandmothers were very happy and of course, uh, the lady of the moment, um, Sam, who is uh, my beautiful wife and father, to, uh, mother, sorry, I'm the father, mother to uh, Charles and uh, our beautiful son. So yeah, it was a really good day and uh, look, um, to all the mothers out there, look, you know, uh, Thank you very much for what you do. Uh, you've got a big influence on a lot of uh, ev a lot of everyone's lives, your children's lives, and um, I guess I've learned a lot, and Sam has learned a lot over the last 26 days uh, after becoming parents. Um, certainly puts things into perspective, and uh, you know just with you know the, the level of effort and the level of uh, you know comfort and uh, you know everything she does for our son. Uh, you know, you know. There's always been a high respect for mothers, but um, you know, you guys are true heroes. So you know, thank you for all you do. So I hope everyone had a good day, guys. I won't keep it long this evening uh, because I did have a long day and you know didn't really prepare for this today. But just sort of touch on something. Um, I talked to someone in the middle of the week about um, they were another agent with another agency and uh, looking to uh, at a crossroads in their career, saying the market had got a little bit tough. Um, and I went through their business and their business plan and what they're looking to achieve and, and the road they're going. Um, and I guess what I got out of it was a, a little bit of a lesson. As much as when I mentor or I talk to other agents, uh, I try and you know learn myself about circumstances and things that might happen in life um, and things that might have happened in their life. So you know the, the biggest thing I got out is most most things in life happen for you and not to you. So, you know, this gentleman I was talking to, um, you know, the, the circumstances that, you know, that had gone on in his career and, you know, his, his life before real estate, um, yeah, made me think a little bit about my own career and, and, and some of the things that I've done, you know, in life and, and, and part of real estate. Um, and, you know, everything from, you know, financial choices to diet choices, um, to everything, so it was quite interesting. So you know, like they, the things in life, you know, they happen for you, not to you. So you know, um, you know, there were some years ago. Look, you know, with regards to investment, you know, look, I sort of started real estate in the early two thousands, two thousand and one. So seventeen years this year, um, and you know, you look back at some of the lessons that you learned along the way, and they're things that you couldn't learn at school. They're things that you only could learn through experience and going through. So I think, you know, if you make some mistakes going through, you're always gonna, it's gonna learn from those mistakes. And speaking to this gentleman, um, it was sort of something that opened my eyes up because I was sort of thinking, you know, did you learn or did you change? And, and sort of he didn't. So, um, you know, you can sit there and sort of be, you know, a bit of a judge and sort of go that, you know, that, that these things are happening to you and the world's against you. but. As long as you really pick up those pieces and uh, and move forward and you learn from it, um, and you know, look, you know, as I said, look, you know, I've made some bad financial decisions over the years, um, you know, a long time ago, and I think I'm better for it. And I look at it and go, well, I'm glad I did that because, you know, I'm glad I didn't lose more money or down the track. Um, you know, definitely, uh, you know, definitely learn from it. So, you know, there was, you know, once. You know, like the GFC happened, and you know, I, I don't know whether many people who are watching this were around. Um, you know, some people might have still been in school. I know, you know, certainly the the younger crop of agents that are coming around now probably were at school. But I look at it, and um, you know, look, I had a lot in the stock market, and I didn't really know a heap about it. The stocks, I, I, um, you know, I was trading in, um, and I was also, you know, obviously buying and selling homes, and you know borrowing a fair bit of money, using that to buy your equity and you know, do some work to a property, flicking it, hanging on to some of them. Had a number of investment properties at that stage um, as well. Um, and yeah, the world sort of turned around when the GFC happened, everything crashed. 
I mean, stocks went down, you know, people lost jobs, uh, you know, interest rates were at highs, there, you know, not many people are interested in the property market. So, you know, you've got to learn from that. And I guess I learned, you know, to, you know, some valuable lessons in that. And look, I didn't understand about, uh, you know, the stock market in general, like as much as what I thought I did. Um, you know, as much as someone just telling me to buy a certain stock because, you know, this is, is going to go up and, you know, it's worth a dollar and it's going to be worth two dollars. So I trusted a lot of people that uh, with my money um, and so that's one key thing you know I wasn't in control um, I was only going off by what they were telling me and as much as they probably meant well as much as you know that it was it was something that they um, you know that they, they probably didn't mean any harm by um, I learned a lot just going look stick to what you know so that was one big thing that came out of that whole you know GFC was you know, stick to things that you know. Um, and, you know, even things, you know, that you move on in your personal life and, you know, and, you know, you might even be looking at dieting and there might have been times in your life where you tried some fad um, and it didn't work or you tried the next one that was, you know, probably that, you know, didn't have as much hype around it and it works. So, you know, stick to those things. Um, and, you know, another saying is, it's not the event that uh, defines you, um, it's, it's life, it's a meaning that you're attached to it. So, you know, that's that's a big thing as well. So, you know, so it's not the event. Like, so again, you know, there might be something bad happened to you, but if you can take something out of it and learn, you know, look, you know, if, if someone's got a sickness, so say, for instance, if someone's got a sickness close to you, or, you know, you lose a loved one that was very close to you, you may then look to, you know, reconnect with someone that you haven't reconnected in a while. So, you know, you can always be learning about things that you might have made mistakes or regrets. You might have regrets about, you know, not reaching out to that person that was, um, you know, n not as close and then they might have felt fallen ill or something like that. So, you know, there's, there's things that you go. So in closing, guys, um, this is how we learn, grow and become happier. You learn from your mistakes. You learn from things that happen to your life. And it's not about, um, you know, it's not about what happens, you know, de definitely not what happens to you. It's how you can react to that. So as long as you put those plans in place, I think that you can live a, you know, a much more happy and prosperous life. So again, mothers, I hope you have a really good day and I hope even the husbands are, you know, or your children are spoiling you tonight. And I hope everyone has a great week and I'll see you next week. Thank you.